viewers you are welcome to my youtube video today so today i'll solve a problem that will take you through electrical energy and power okay let me read out the question two capacitors of capacitance three farad and nine farad are connected in series to a 60 volt direct current supply draw the circuit diagram and calculate the a the charge on either plate of each capacitor, B, the potential difference across each capacitor, and then C, the energy of the combined capacitors, okay? The first thing to do is to uh, show the circuit diagram as stated in the question. So the circuit diagram looks thus, okay? This symbol represents the, that is the unit for the capacitance of a capacitor in a circuit diagram, whereas this one is for the potential difference okay so the first capacitance of the first the capacitance of the first capacitor is three three farad and then for the next one is nine farad and then the potential difference across the dc current supply is 60 volts okay so to first to solve the first part of the question i'll find the effective capacitance of the two capacitors connected in series so i have one divided by c where c is the net or the effective capacitance of the two capacitors which is equal to one divided by three three being the capacitance of the first capacitor plus one divided by nine nine being the capacitance of the second capacitor and if you solve the right hand side of the, this equation it boils down to four divided by nine so the effective capacitance of the two capacitors connected in series will be the reciprocal of this answer which is 9 divided by 4 farad okay now to calculate the charge it will be the product of the capacitance of the capacitor and the potential difference so if i multiply this out the value of c is 9 divided by 4 and the potential difference was given to me as 60 volts okay so the the charge the, the charge on either plate of each capacitor will be equal to 135 coulombs, okay? Now, the B part of the question, to find the potential difference from this formula, I'll make V subject of the formula, and that boils down to the ratio of the charge to the capacitance of the capacitor, okay? But I need to find the, 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 the potential difference across the three microfarads, so I'll present that as V subscript 1 which would be the radio ratio of 135 columns to the charge on the first capacitor, which is 3 farad. And that boils down to 45 volts. So 45 volts is the potential difference across the first capacitor, which has capacitance of 3 farad. And then the potential difference across the second capacitor, having, the, its capaci having a capacitance of 9 farad, will be the ratio of 135 columns to the capacitance of the second capacitor which is 9 so 135 divided by 9 equals 15 volts the summation of these two boils down to 60 volts which is equivalent to the potential difference given to me in the question okay now to the third part of the question energy equals 1 over 2 multiplied by the potential difference and the net charge okay so 1 over 2 multiplied by the potential difference given in the question uh, 60 volts and then the net charge is 135 columns so if you multiply this out it boils down to 4050 joules that is the energy of the combined capacitors okay there are two capacitors with each having with the first one having a capacitance of 3 farad and the second one 9 farad respectively okay thank you for watching this YouTube video, I do hope um, the solution was very clear and concise. Okay, if you've forgotten the name of the channel, it's Victorian STEM. And if you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel, and I will appreciate it. If you have any question, comment, uh, drop it at the comment section, and I'll take time to address each and every one of those. Cheers.